Hello, this is Jeffrey Frid, and today we're here at 806 North Gardner Street in beautiful and sunny West Hollywood, California. And on behind me, we have an elegant modern farmhouse that boasts five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, and has 4,980 square feet of living space. I want to go ahead and thank Orr Brodsky of Compass Realty for allowing us to tour this magnificent property today. It's currently on the market for just under $4.1 million. Let's come take a look. Follow me in. This house truly does have exceptional curb appeal with roses and mature cypress trees and two sconces that frame the garage. You also have a sitting area right here, right outside the front door. As we enter the front door, you'll notice it's quite grand in stature, both width and height. To give you a point of reference, I'm seven feet tall. That's a pretty big door. Immediately on your right hand side, you'll notice the wood paneling, which we'll see throughout the house and it really gives it that vibrant and elegant look. And you also have the sconces on both sides to really break up the European white oak flooring, as well as the little details. So the developer truly spared no expense in building this property. You'll notice this entire floor to ceiling quartz backsplash, which is a zebra colorway, as well as the fire and ice style fireplace. Imagine sitting here after a long day of work with your friends enjoying your favorite cocktail. As you see on the flooring, you have the gold detail and gold trim, and then you have the black and white modern design up as well. And the, like I mentioned, the developer spared no expense, whether it was the crown moldings or the baseboards. And every room kind of has its own vibe, its own feel. So here in the formal dining room, it's more of an elegant, classy seating for eight, with a glass chandelier, as well as the exposed wood beams above. In contrast, that room was more of a white and black design to give it that back and forth mix. As we enter the main foyer, we have a grand chandelier. As you approach here, you'll notice this iPad looking device, which is a 4S system which controls everything throughout the property, whether it be music, lighting, comfort, security, or even opening the front gate. So all you have to do is go to lighting, for example, and you'll notice you can turn all of them on, similar to you know, a light fixture, but you're able to control the entire bottom floor and there's a separate device for the top floor. As we approach here, you'll notice there's a small opening and what that is, is a vacuum cleaner. So rather than dragging the vacuum throughout the entire property, you have a section right here that you connect directly. Makes it convenient. You also have this laundry slash coat hook where you have extra storage below with soft closing doors as well and storage above to give you all the space that you need. Here you have your first bathroom, it's a powder room. And I do want to point out the height of this powder room. Every room in this house has height to it. You also notice the light fixtures are perfectly, perfectly placed in each spot to really, you know, capture every single room, every single, you know, vision of the future buyer of this house. Immediately to your right hand side, you have the media room which has a projector, as well as four seats, two of which flatten out completely for you to enjoy with friends and family, as well as a love sack to provide extra seating. I'll turn on the lights to give you guys an idea. You also have sconces placed throughout. You can have lighting however you wish. And to give you a better idea, this is the lie flat seating. You also have little swivels to hold your beverages or food, whatever you prefer. Let's make our way to the foyer and the grand staircase. As I mentioned, you have your foyer here that leads up into the kitchen as well as the backyard. So here we have 
the wood paneling as well in a white color as opposed to the front which was an oak finish. And again, as I mentioned, the developer just wanted, you know, a truly elegant look to it. And rather than having a plain white wall, you have some sort of texture, some sort of contrast for your eyes to look at. As I mentioned over there with the vacuum, you have another outlet here. So these are placed throughout the house. There's not just one location. And we'll make our way into the first ensuite. So you have a closet with built-in storage already. And then here you have a good sized bedroom. As you can tell, there's nightstands on both sides and a queen size bed. So it gives you, uh, you know, an ample amount of space as well as the ceiling, which does have some height to it. Every room in this house has a lot of height, which I love personally. I wonder why. As you make your way into the bathroom, you'll notice the finishing is floor to ceiling. So as you walk into each room, they want you to feel engulfed in that room. They want you to feel as if you're in a completely different environment than, you know, every room and every bathroom is different, but it has its own character, has its own feel to it. You also have wiring here for a television. Everything was thought out in this property. You'll notice every single detail was meticulously thought out, as I mentioned prior with these glass doorknobs. And you also have the hinges on every single door that are gold and solid pieces of hardware to ensure the safety of the doors. As you approach the right side, you have your wet bar immediately off of that ensuite bedroom with a gold leaf glass back that holds cups, glasses, whatever you need it to. You also have your sink in here, as well as the same quartz that's seen in the formal living room in the front, as well as a refrigerator to keep some smaller items if need be, and cabinets to provide ample space for all of your items. We'll notice the breakfast nook, which is one of my favorites because you don't see it that often anymore in the same black and white contrast as the majority of the house which has the leather seating, as well as three seats to accompany, you know, a family. This house, if you couldn't tell, is truly built for entertaining and a family. Um, you have your giant slab of quartz right here that has a lighter and brighter feel to it as some of the other pieces throughout the house. You have one sink here, as well as one sink over here if you need extra room for preparation or need one for dishes and one for cooking of the sort. You also have the camera system in the corner over here that has 16 cameras throughout the entire property, inside and out. You have your dishwasher here as well that's beautifully hidden by the white cabinetry. And your Wolf appliances this is a six burner range, as well as your flat cooking top and your griddle top, if you wanna make steaks or burgers. And your ovens are right below. Another convenient feature is this pot filler. So rather than having to fill a pot and carry it from the sink all the way over, you're able to just fill it directly right here. As I mentioned, the developer truly thought about everything whether it was the laced cabinets with the glass or the black cabinets under the island to give it that contrast. This house truly has it all. As we make our way back over here, you have lighting underneath the cabinets to provide extra light, as well as seating at the island for three individuals and your Sub-Zero fridge and freezer with an ice maker, of course. You also have cabinets above, just to give even more room. Here we have two more appliances. 
One is an espresso machine as well as a microwave that opens at the touch of a button. That's pretty cool, I think. As we make our way over here, you have a wine rack as well as more cabinets to really give you enough storage, more than enough that you'll need, as well as a server and pantry room. Here you have your server that controls all the electronics throughout the property within the media room and the cameras in a secure box, as well as pantry for storage and food products. As we make our way to the backyard, you'll notice the oak archways, similar to that of the formal dining room, passing by the chef's kitchen, as well as the entertaining wet bar that we saw earlier. Brings us here to our family room, you could say, but this house does have an exceptionally open floor plan and you have indoor-outdoor living, which we'll get to in one second, but you have this built-in cabinetry to be used as a library and you have a rolling ladder here for those of us that are vertically challenged or uh, if you want to store books up top, you're able to easily access them and um, whether it be take a seat on the couch or uh, entertain with the wet bar behind you, you're able to kind of do it all. As we make our way to the glass doors that are pocket doors that essentially disappear, it brings you out to the white pebble pool as well as jacuzzi. This is the true epitome of California indoor outdoor living. As these doors retract, we're able to get a better view of the pool as well as the automatic pool cover over here. That covers a pool whether you want to keep it clean or whether you want to keep it warm in the summer months. If you look over here to the left side, you'll notice the outdoor seating with the outdoor fireplace as well as the wood paneling and the black and white contrast that we saw throughout the interior of the home. Now we have it on the exterior. So rather than having the plain white wall, we have something to kind of break up the wall and give it that elegant vibe. As we make our way across the herringbone flooring, back through the chef's kitchen and the wet bar, past the bedroom with the ensuite bathroom, into the foyer, the formal dining room once again, the formal living room, and make our way to the grand staircase. As we make our way up the European white oak flooring, you'll notice the white paneling that encompasses the entire wall, as well as all the walls once you get upstairs. You also have another iPad type device, similar to the one downstairs that controls the temperature as well as the lighting and gives you information like your weather or you can connect your Spotify similar to that downstairs. Make your way across the hallway upstairs. You have the gigantic chandelier, elegant, beautiful, has that same white and gold color contrasting to go with the entire styling of the house. As we make our way over here to the right, you have your laundry room with the washer and dryer with their own little station just in case there are any leaks or anything down below, it's protected. You also have countertop here, sufficient space, as well as the cabinets up top with the same soft closed doors. As we make our way to the office here on the right hand side, you'll notice the black and glass enclosed design to really give it that executive vibe and feel to it. You have your chair here as well as your gray dark tint cabinetry on both the left and the right side as well as the same paneling as we saw throughout the house just in a different color contrast. As I said before, it really gives you the feel that every room is different Every room is unique, but you're within the same household. We make our way to the very first ensuite bedroom upstairs. You have a similar sized room as we do downstairs. Difference being we have built-in cabinetry that's a little bit different. You have your tall wardrobe cabinetry, as well as smaller drawers to fit the smaller items. 
and on this side you also have your seating area which kind of gives you know a nice little break off the room and not just a bedroom but you can you know kind of make it what you want it. As we make our way to the bathroom you'll notice floor to ceiling tiles as well and quite different from all the other bathrooms to give you you know a difference and kind of give a different feel than every other room while maintaining the modern elegant presence that this home does. You'll notice all the hardware is the same as downstairs with the gold hinges on the doorways as well as the glass handles. You also have this black cabinetry that's built in so one other thing I love about this home is a lot of stuff is built in. You don't need, you know, to look for extra storage. They made sure, the developer, to ensure there's plenty and sufficient space to put whatever artwork you want, sculptures and whatnot. And it also has that white and black contrast. We make our way to the second ensuite bedroom upstairs. You have the same built-in cabinetry as the other room on your left-hand side as well as the bed and sitting area here in the corner. And you make your way to the bathroom with ceilings that span 15 feet tall. You know, it's hard to see in here, but you know, you have a different color and different tile as the other bathroom you were just in. So it gives you an idea of every room is quite different and you can kind of pick and choose what you do with all the areas. As we make our way to the third ensuite bedroom upstairs, this can be used as a kid's room. It can be used for little children just because of the location and the sizing is a little bit smaller than the other two ensuites. You do have the same built-in cabinetry spanning this entire wall as well as a bed similar to both other rooms and you also have an ensuite bathroom once again so everyone in the entire house has their own private bathroom which is a great feature private everyone gets their own privacy um, and then it really you know allows a family to live here without overcrowding without as we make our way back to the staircase you'll notice once again, the chandelier, as well as the wood and steel framing of sides here that follow it all the way down to the first floor. You can kind of see the paneling on the right side on the wall a little better from this angle. You can see every single line kind of breaks up each little panel into its own little section. We make our way here into the master bedroom, which is one of my favorite rooms in this house. It features that same quartz backsplash as we saw downstairs in the formal living room, as well as the same fire and ice style fireplace with a TV mounted right here and two seats to ensure a little sitting area. You also have a seating area right off of your master, which overlooks some of the views in LA as we make our way over here to the master bathroom, immediately you notice the dual entrance master shower. You can enter on both sides as well as it being a steam shower. So there's a screen in here that allows you to control exactly what you want. All you would do is press start button and it would turn into a steam shower. So you have dual rain head shower heads as well as normal shower heads and the handhelds as well as this little window for the steam to assist in condensation. You have a toilet here on the right hand side with a door to ensure privacy as well as his and her sinks with the same sink as we had downstairs in the powder room. And you can kind of notice the gold metal work that encompasses the entire flooring as well, but they put it in here as well to kind of you know, go back to that 
as well as the black cabinets that are beautiful. On the other side of the bathroom, we have the freestanding bathtub with its own water, as well as a vanity for putting on your makeup, whether you're getting ready, whether you need you know, an extra seat within your bathroom. Because who doesn't want to look like a princess in the morning? As we make our way over here, you'll notice there are two rooms, one on this side and one to the left. They're both closets. We'll go to the one on the right first, which is most likely the guy's closet, let's be honest, because it's a small closet. Here we have some shelving, for some of the clothing as well as glass to kind of make it feel bigger than it is, as well as you have your secondary closet. A lot bigger with its own seating area. In here you do have glass cases to showcase all of your shirts, jackets, whatever it may be, as well as glass cases above which can house shoes. And there's more than enough storage here for anything that you might need. You also have drawers in the back that allow for additional storage. As well as on this side of it, you have showcase style glass wardrobe here and up above. Let's be honest, this is where the missus will likely store all of her stuff. You'll also have your master bed here. And rather than just leaving it with a plain wall, they did put this backing to it, the solid wood, which kind of gives it an extra dimension. And as you can tell, it's quite beautiful. Let's take a look over here. As you enter the master, you have this dual-sided wood French door styles that close completely. You also have the same hardware as all the other doors in the house but it kind of gives that elegant, grand vibe to it, as well as sconces on both sides. I appreciate you guys following me on my journey today and touring this luxury home here in West Hollywood, California. Now please hit that like button and click subscribe, and I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this beautiful fireplace. Thank you and hope to see you next time.